Stevie, first of all, congratulations. How's it feel to be the man one man? Thank you. Um, it feels really good. It feels excellent. Um, really honoured and privileged that the club feel that you know I'm the best person to take take it forward, and, and we're ready to go. The club obviously interviewing people earlier this week. You decided to go for you. What were the conversations you had with the board, and, and was it a no-brainer decision when they decided to offer it to you? Well, I knew I knew there was a, a high volume of candidates applied for the job, and the process that they went through was a very rigorous. You know, it was very thorough, which I wanted it to be. Um, I don't want to just be given this job because I'm an ex-player and I've and I've got a role at the club. Um, and an interview process was was a tough one, but I, I gave them the projections of the club going forward, what I see going forward, and. The, um, and then not long after the meeting, the, the chairman called me up, up to the office and, and spoke to me. And, you know, I think they said it was a unanimous decision after the, after the interview, uh, pretty quickly, which is great to hear and it gives me great confidence. And it was an easy decision for you then to say yes? It was an easy decision. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, was, it, it was, like I said, I've been, I've been involved at the club and the fact that they, the, the, the hierarchy here, the chairman and the board and the Welsh Society guys, um, feel that I'm the best person to take the club forward. Yeah, absolutely. Just finally, for me, you talked about the, you talk about your sights that you got for the club. Just initially, mm. what are the short-term goals? What have they said? What is the target for you for the next few weeks, the few months of the season? I, I, I said it yesterday. I think we do need a little bit of time, but I totally understand. In football, you don't get that. Um, so short-term, we need to we need to see improvements. Um, quickly, medium to long-term. Yeah, we need a little bit of. Recruitment and the squad needs a little bit of tweaking here and there, and then longer term we get the the younger players that are at the, at the club and coming through the academy, and we sl we slowly integrate them. Yes, of course they need to be ready and they need to be um, capable of of doing that, but that's 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 pretty much short term a uh, shorter version of of how I see the club going forward. What sort of team can we see under you, Stephen? Um. A team that it plays with intensity, a team that the fans will come and, and enjoy watching play and hopefully um, understand it's never always going to be perfect here, it's motherwell, there's, there's ups and downs every season, um, hopefully there's more ups than downs, um, it's going to require a lot of hard work from everyone at the club, you know, the staff, the every, every single member of staff, I spoke to them already about that, about how every, every single member of staff that works in here is going to play a vital part in what we want to do going forward and we need to be have that working environment in here when every day you're coming in, you're, you need to come in and, and learn and try and improve and help the squad as best we can. People talk about managers have a philosophy, what, what would your philosophy be? Um, like, like I touched on um, before, we need, it, needs to be cha it needs to change from before, it needs to be slightly different, every manager that would come in would say that, every manager, regardless of shape or formation or philosophy, if you want to call it that, is going to be different. We need to, some games. Yeah, we might need to be a little bit more pragmatic than others. We understand that it's not going to be a. This is the way we're playing, and it will never change. Obviously, some games will be more difficult than others in this league. But every game will be hard. Every game will be hard, and the game plan or the game model might change week on week, depending on who's available and who's not. But yeah, as I touched on before, a team that plays with intensity that the fans will come and want to watch and you know and be proud of. You made reference yesterday that uh, you know you need to get players in to help the squad and shape your team. How far down the line are you with any potential targets? We're, we're far. We're, we are. We've made inquiries about players. It's tough. Um, recruitment's key. Recru recruitment's so so important. Um, and and then bringing the, the right person in, the right player in. You know, I'd rather sign a a seven, eight out of ten player that's going to fit into what we're what we're trying to do here and fit into the culture and environment we try to do than than a nine and a ten that's going to come in and give us problems. Um, so, you know, we need to, we need to be clever with it. We need to it's it's difficult where we're at and how late we are with it as well. But when we do it, we need to make sure. Of course, it's never going to be perfect, and it's never, you know, it's, there might be some kind of risk attached to it. But we need to be confident when we're bringing someone they're going to come in and make an impact straight away. I think a minute there on that front. I don't know yet. Are you close to getting in on it? Yeah, well, we've made a few inquiries about a couple. There's a couple that's kind of slower burning. Um, again, yeah, but as soon as we know, we'll, we'll, we'll put something out. Is there specific areas of the park that you feel that it's vital that you strengthen? 
Yeah, I think there's there's no secret we need a couple of attacking options. I think I think we need we need that as well as as a couple of other positions. Yeah, with Jake Carroll getting injured, um, obviously that's something we need to look at as well uh, quickly. So yeah, as we go, we'll, we'll we'll treat it, you know, as we go. In terms of um, your managerial experience, who who do you look up to? Who have you learned from over the years, and who maybe do you want to try and emulate and model yourself on? Um, well, I'm me. I can't I can't be anybody else. I can't be someone else. I've worked under a great amount of coaches and managers, and I've learned so much over my time. I've been kind of, you know, studying the game, if you like to say that, for the last number of years. I'm trying to improve always. I can't be, yeah, ideally, yeah, I can take little bits from all the different coaches. I've worked under great motivators, great coaches, great man managers. Um, ideally, putting all of that together as well as just being myself and being the best version that, in me, you know, give this club absolutely everything I've got. I mean, that's that's all I can do. Do you think there's more pressure on you because you are a motherable boy through and through? You know, the fans know that. There's no kind of hiding place. You know the club so well, don't you? Yeah, but I, I put massive pressure on myself. Um, in terms of from the outside, I can't control that. I can't control what people say about me or do about me. I mean, all the social media stuff and that, I'll just be totally away from that. That won't be a distraction to me at all. Um, but nobody puts more pressure on than myself. Um, I want to do well um, here for the club, for myself, for the players. And, and that's about it. The Aberdeen manager Jim Goodwin yesterday, obviously uh, as you're facing this weekend, was saying it's great to see you know yourself getting a, a chance to, to manage in the game. Yeah. Presumably you, you had a couple of battles as, as players, did you on the on the pitch? Yeah, I, I, we we have of course. Um, like you said at the start, it's made me feel a little bit old, but yeah, we have. Um, back in the day, we've done some coaching stuff together. Um, you know, he's went up there and done really well. He's um, he's recruited well this summer. He's he's got the team. Kind of went closer, but he wants it to be, and it's probably one of the one of the most difficult fixtures on the calendar for us. So, yeah, we've we've prepared well this week. We understand it's going to be a really tough game. Good coach, good staff up there, um, and it's going to be a difficult one. But by the time it comes, we'll, we'll be as ready as we can be. Stephen, I imagine this is a fair to say it's a long-standing ambition to, to be my own manager for you. Can you remember the kind of time when you thought this is what I want to do and? and and have you, have you been working towards this? Kind of moment? Yeah, I think like I never, never said, look, I want to be my role manager. That wasn't something I've said. Like this is a goal. This is a target for me. I've been starting my coaching journey since my early twenties. You know, it's been a long, a long road. Um, still continually doing courses, CPD events, all this stuff to continually do that. The job I was in was was a good job, it was the job I was wanting to do, I, I give everything for that job, for the club and I believe the academy is in a, in a lot better position now during my course of time of being there, um, but then yep, it just evolved the way things worked out um, over the past year or two, it's just the doors opened and I was ready to do it and the club wanted me to do it, so absolutely ready. Yeah, it's it's never going to be perfect. You I mean ideal scenario? Yeah, you come in in a, a job and you you've got the summer to work with a team and you've got the summer to work with a recruitment. It, it's never going to be as perfect as that. I mean, it's, the opportunity um, became available. I'm ready, and and that's that's where we're at. Charge of the academy, you've already touched it on already, but will you look to utilise a lot of the players as well? Absolutely, absolutely, and I think I know the talent that's coming through over the next period of time, over the next few years, and I think we've shown over the first two games we um, we gave two debuts, debut in in both games, and that's not to make a sign or put something out there. That was genuinely because the players that come on, we believe or I believe was was the best players to come on in that on those games and those scenarios and those matches. So. Yep, that will give confidence to the young boys in the building just now, but also to the, the younger academy players, and, and, and that's that's important for this club. Stevie, what's your target for this season? Um, we've not got as far as that. You know, we, we want to do well. We want to play. We want to play well. We want to uh, win games. Um, in terms of setting out targets, I'm not big on that, but. Yeah, we want to do well. We've, we've hardly, you know, we've hardly touched the seat in the manager's office yet. We'll, we'll get to these things. Um, even for now, we're coming out of a meeting to come here. We'll go straight back to the meeting. So, yeah, we've we've had a chat with the staff, and as the season evolves, we'll we'll, we'll get there. Now, what is looking 
game tomorrow, Aberdeen has started to do off really, really well. Is this a kind of game where you need to win the battle before you can win the game? I think that's mostly in, in Scotland, you know, individual duels, you know, we'll, we'll have to, you know, do, do, do the basics well, as, as every week, the individual duels, battles, physical battles, yeah, will be there every week, and then it's what we do after that as well. Yeah, from your point of view, you've been looking for reactions from Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Saturday, again, it wasn't perfect, it wasn't, we scored an injury time, and then, we're, you know, we're 30 seconds away from coming away with four points for two games, which which I think most clubs would be happy with. I mean, that's what we're looking at it at, with. Um, we played right to the end. We scored an injury time ourselves, which shows you that the players are, are willing to go there and, and do that. Um, so we're looking at the positives. Stephen, you mentioned Jake Carroll. Is that you had a kind of diagnosis on him? Um, yeah, I think it's um, a ruptured patella tendon. So it's it's pretty serious. You know, Jake's a great boy, good player. He's one that we earmarked, you know, we marked for improvement, you know, that we need to improve the players that are in here and Jake was one, he wasn't playing at his full capacity, I didn't believe um, and I think we've seen that in the short period of time we've seen him in the game and in training, we felt there was a lot of improvement to come from Jake, I think he would admit that himself, so he's going to be a big loss for us, I'm absolutely gutted for the boy. And Nathan McGinley, is, is he still struggling with? Uh, Nathan's still going to be out for a period of time, yeah. What time to go for Jake, David? Um, I, I'm without um, going, it probably he'd be lucky to play this season. I think. On tomorrow, uh, what's the challenge to add the How specifically is this going to be one of those more pragmatic games? From the result? No, I think it'll be more than that. I think they've, they've recruited well. So there's a lot of players we've had to do a little bit of research on because of, they've recruited so many players. Uh, the first game was Parkhead and then they obviously played against St Mirren um, and that game changed quickly so we didn't get a, you know, a, a, real, a lot out of that. But we know they're a talented team. They'll get good staff, they'll be well organised, they'll be, they'll be, they pose good attacking threats from their side so we need to make sure we're, we're, we're aware of that. And between that match and the next one, you've got around seven days. What, what are you going to do in that week? If you, um, We're going to work hard, as always. Um, we'll get as much as much in as we can. Obviously, we've still got the recruitment side, which takes a lot of the time as well. Um, the squad's thin, so we need to make sure we recover well from the game. And then, yep, every day after that, we'll be working hard to, to approach next week's game. How receptive the squad being to your ideas? They've they've been excellent, you know that they they've been fantastic, and that's that was a big reason why I thought you know this is this is something that, that we, we can we can go and achieve something, and um, because of the reaction we've had of them, I've sp- a, f- a few of them have came to us individually and been really positive about what we're doing, which gives us great confidence. It's not going to be easy. They know that we're going to challenge them. We're going to put them in scenarios that they're going to feel like they're progressing. Um, but the, the buy-in from them, that we're, what we're doing, has been fantastic, and you know that will that will continue daily. And um, why do you think the club placed their faith in you more than any of the other candidates? What makes you stand out? Well, without going into what we what we spoke about in the meeting, um, you know, I, I sold them me like we spoke about. It, I sold them me what I what I think I bring to the job, what I think what's behind me. I think I've got the full support of the staff here. I think the staff will, will do. You know, they'll, they'll, whatever I ask them to do, they'll, they'll be there for me. I know I can trust them. Um, and the vision going forward, like I said, yeah, short term, we need to we need to do it. We need to get after it. Um, but after that, hopefully, we can we can start to build. Stevie, what for you is the best kind of way to get the best out of the players? I think that's a daily thing. We 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 speak to them every day. We give them ownership. We we kind of you know we we try and get those personal relationships with them, which I already had. I was I've been in the building a couple of years now, working with the kind of reserve development group. You know, so I know I know most of the players anyway. So it's a good starting point from there, um, and it's just getting to know each player, what they need, what they don't need, where the where the best where we can best position them um, on a match day. Would you say you're a hard taskmaster? Or? We we'll work hard. We will work hard. There's got to be a difference. Yes, we want to come in and enjoy being here. You know, in a privileged position, they're working at a great club. But they work hard every day. We'll challenge you physically, mentally. We need to improve tactically. Um, but yeah, we, we will work hard. But in a way that everything's geared towards how we improve on a on a match day.